Hey guys, Inky Cheese here. So I know I stated that I was shown, I would have shown some calculations for BMI, which in which BMI is used to calculate whether a person is underweight, overweight, or obese. And there are certain formulas for BMI, right? So we want to first state our formula, which is weight, weight in kgs, divided by the height in meter square, right? I've mentioned that in my video before. For those who have not viewed it as yet, please, please feel free to look at it. And we said the height in meter square. Right? So we have the weight here. So the question says, James weighed 149 pounds on the scale and his height was noted to be five feet and three inches. What would be James' BMI? What category does James fall in? So we're going to answer this question. So I have already stated the formula for BMI, right? So first let's just put in the appropriate numbers. Right, so we say his weight is 149 pounds, right? However, the BMI calculation uses um, kgs. So eventually we will, we know that we have to convert this. And weight is five feet, I mean height, I should say, is five feet and three inches, right? So the formula states that, uh, right, so we want to convert this pounds into kgs. So we know that uh, one kg equals 2.2 pounds. So we want to convert the pounds first, right? 149. You can do this with me. 149 divided by 2.2. Where's my divided sign? Okay, I'll just do this. 149 divided by 2.2. And using my calculator, I got 149 divided by 2.2, and I got 67.7272. Well, I'll just use the first three digits. 67.2, 67.7272. Seven two seven, and that could be in kgs, right? Kgs, because we have just converted the pounds into kgs, right? So we now want to move on to calculate the height, right? Which is five feet three inches, and how much is five feet? You know that one feet equals twelve inches, right? So we just multiply twelve by five, it gives us sixty, and we want to add the extra three inches. Add it to three, giving us the final answer of 63 inches. However, we're not done there, right? We are not done as yet because we want it in meter square. We have to convert it into meter square. So moving on, oops. moving on from there, right? Meter square. Seeing that we get this answer, 63 inches. So how much, how much does six, one inch gives you 2.54 centimeters, right? So therefore, one inch. So you have to multiply 63 by 2.54, right? And that will give us the answer of, let me calculate it in my calculator. 63 by 2.54, giving us the answer of 160, right? 160. And that is now centimeters, right? Centimeters. But we want it in meters square now because that is what the formula wants. We want it in meters square. So now we're going to move on to convert this into meter square, right? So we know that 100 centimeter gives you one meter, right? So that'd be 160. Over. 
100. 100, right? Any questions? Divided by 100, well, you already know this mentally, 1.60 at this unit, just to make sure. So this here is the meter. However, we want meter square, right? So the formula states meter square. So how do we get a square? We multiply it by itself, 1.60 by 1.60. 1.6 by 1.6, giving you the answer of calculating it, 1.6 by 1.6 equals 2.56, right? So this is the meter square. This is what we got. Right, now that we got our digits, let's actually move on to calculating the actual BMI. Right, we're gonna move on to calculating the actual BMI for this calculation. Okay, so that would be, we got 67.727 divided by what we got, 2.56. Right, so and as we divide this, we're gonna get a BMI, this is how we're gonna get a BMI. 67.727 divided by 2.56, giving us the answer of 26.455, right? So it'd be equals to 26.4. Well, we can also run this off to 26.5, right? So 26.5, and this is our BMI for the first one. Okay, so now that we got a BMI, is this an ideal weight for an individual? Okay, so let's go through the BMI, but it's considered overweight whatsoever. We stated that 18.5, and um, below is considered to be, is considered to be Underweight. I mean, we stated that 18.5 to 24.9 is considered to be of ideal weight. And we stated that 25 to 30 is considered to be overweight, while 30 and over is considered to be obese. However, this person is 26. Therefore, they are obese. Right? So it's 25. It's 25 to 24. 25 to 29.9 is obese, and this person is 26.4. So they are a bit obese there. So that was for BMI, right? So I just do one calculation just to give an example. For example, take and we move on to the rule of thumb, rule of thumb method. Okay, so the rule of thumb method, right? This question here is for females, right? We're gonna do females first. And I stated that for the rule of thumb method, that uh, for every for every five feet, we add in one hundred pounds, and every other each other every other feet um inch we get, we add in five pounds, right? So in this case, Sarah, we have her height which is six feet and one inch, right? One inch, one inch. Right, so this is Sarah's height. So when we get the height, we will see if it's the range is within normal, ideal, or whatsoever, weight and whatsoever, right? So, okay, so you want to use that method 
for every five feet. So the same here that she has six feet equals 100 pounds. So you're adding the 100 pounds, add it to 100 pounds, add it to, and they say every other inch is equal to five. So you have one inch, that is five pounds so far. However, they say every five feet. However, here we have six feet, and we, and we know that one feet equals 12 inches. So we add in the 12 by five, add it to the one extra there, right? 12 by five. Added to the extra five, right? Which is from the one inch we get. So to say for each other inch equals five pounds for females, right? So 12 fives are 60, added to five. Given us 65, right? So we got 65. However, we have to get the percentage of this now. So what's the percentage of uh, that? So we paste in that, just going basic so that, that everybody can understand. 10 over 100, we, we calculated the 10% of it, right? Of the total that we got there, right? Over 100. 165. So you want to find 10% of 165, right? 5%. Percentage sign. So that is the percentage, and that is what we'll be adding and taking away from the total pounds to get the range. Right? So 165 minus. 16.5, right, and we get the answer, 165, add 16.5, right, calculating that, and we got 181.5. And when it is we add, we got, you can calculate with me, see if we get the same answer, 165 added to 16.5 equals 16.5. Oh no, this is minus, right? So we're gonna minus now, 165 minus, 16.5, giving us 148.5, 148.5. Good, we got a range. And this is for female, right? So seeing that we have the range, the rule of thumb for Sarah, right? You calculated the rule of thumb for Sarah, and that is 148. 148.5, that is your range, first one, to 181.5. So what is her status? So is she of ideal weight, right? So we see in here that her pounds is 120, right? So therefore she is a bit overweight because the ideal weight will be within this range using the rule of thumb method. However, she weighed 120 pounds. So she is a bit underweight, right? She is below 148.5. If she was 190, she would be overweight, right? But she's 120 pounds and she's underweight. She's considered underweight according to the rule of thumb me method, right? So we want to move on for the rule of thumb method. For meals, I don't do, I'm going to do a quick, quick calculation, right? So we have a question here. Henry's height was noted to be five feet. So we want to calculate, right? Henry's height, five feet. Right? And five inches. Right, so I have given the formula for the rule of thumb method for meals, right? 
And what I've stated is a slight difference. For every five feet equals 106 pounds for meals, right? And for every other inch equals uh, six pounds. So we add in the 106 to, right? So five by six will give us 30. So we add in the 106 to 30, giving us the answer of 136 pounds, right? So that's the first part. Then after this, we have to calculate the percentage, the 10% of uh, this pound here before we add or take away, right? So we put in the 10%, right? No, multiply by 136. The journey of calculating range ever, right? So let's calculate this. I right? want to find 10%. You can calculate with me. 10 divided by 100, right? This is an eight of getting percentage. 10 to the six, 136. So divided by 136, right? And we got here 13.6, right? 13.6 for the percentage. Any questions? 13.6. So now we want to move on to the next part of this equation in which we minus 136 minus 13.6%, right? And then we say 136 added to 13.6, right? Percent. So let's calculate that. 136 minus 13.6, given us the answer of 122.4.4. And then when it is we add 136 to 13.6, we got 149.6. Right, pounds. So now we have the rule of thumb. Or what's his name, Henry? Will be the range of one twenty two point four to one forty nine. One forty nine point six. Right. So this is the rule of thumb, Henry. Is, is this an ideal weight? Is the overweight, is the underweight? Take a while and let me know. Right, so his actual weight is actually 250 pounds. You wanna see if he is of ideal weight or whatsoever, if he has a healthy weight or what. So according to the rule of thumb, the range should be, should be between 122 for him, 0. 0.4 to 149.6. However, his actual weight is what is 250. Therefore, he is overweight, right? He is overweight because according to the rule of thumb method, he should be within the range of 122.4 to 149.6. So this is just the basic calculation. This is for male, right? The male calculation. So any questions, please leave it down in the comments. Any other formula you like to start to solve whatsoever, please leave it down below. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. This was the end of the BMI calculations.